Well, I think what Tax Time does for me is it gives me an opportunity to see what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. It gives me ideas. Sometimes I read just one thing and I think, oh, I could try something like that, or oh, somebody else is doing that, or wow, they're way beyond us, or wow, we're headed in the right direction, when you wonder sometimes if what you are doing is appropriate. Um, it just opens the doors and the opportunities mm -hmm. for me to see what's out there, and what's going on. And that a lot of people are involved in a lot of different kinds of professions and people in different places all over are doing that kind of thing. Well, education could be insular. And we think about educating students in just one way. But if I know what somebody is looking at in a particular field, what an entrepreneur is looking at, what kinds of things they're doing out there, that gives me ideas of what I can be or should be doing in here. Maybe not the same kind of projects, but what kind of projects would lead kids to think about this or be able to go in that particular direction. Just STEM alone, doing STEM alone, has made the girls in our school become interested in doing our rover project, for example. Most of the team for the last few years has been girls, which I have loved because I've had those girls in eighth grade. And I watched them do the first couple engineering projects we ever did and watch them get their hands dirty and realize, oh, this is kind of cool. And so it led them into something where places where they never thought they'd go. I think that's great. That's the point of it. Well, I like, I'm a people watcher, so I liked the mix of people. I mean, there were all kinds of different people there, all different ages, different um, backgrounds. I liked the space in particular. Um, my daughter is an art history professor, so I've gotten, so I like modern art. I'm learning a little bit about it. And um, so I liked the space. I liked seeing the art. I like, um, I like picturing science as a liberal arts type of discipline instead of just thinking of it as a hard science. Because when you do that, it turns a lot of kids off. Um, they don't think it's fun. They think you're just gonna play with you know, test tubes and um, learn, have lots of math, and they don't realize that it really is applicable to their everyday life, and that even science has a history to it that's very important, like the Manhattan Project that my kids have just finished studying, and what that means for them, and how that led to you know, producing nuclear energy, and should we be using nuclear power plants to make energy these days? So I just like the marriage of the whole thing. It makes me feel like I'm really part of something, and that it's also humbling because it makes you realize how far you have to go when I hear what other people are doing. Because my kids are just doing this art project now, I thought, oh, I, I am doing the right thing in allowing them to express themselves, learn about a piece of history that was associated with the science they did, and then express their feelings through art. I like art installations, like a lot of that was, because it makes you stop and think about um, space and relationships. It makes you observe. And in science, that's what you do. Charles Darwin he came with, up with the idea of evolution by just observation. You know, he collected data just by observing. He didn't have some fancy laboratory, he didn't have a computer, you know, he, he didn't have tools. He used his eyes and his brain. And um, that's kind of what art is and that's what science can be also. It's, it's a thinking man's game, it's not just... To do science is sometimes an art. You know, to do it and do it well and see what can, where can we go with this, what can we do with it. Even engineering, how can we do this? How can we fix this? How can we make it better? What piece do I need?